Oh, 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 no. oh, we're live. Oh, we're live. Good afternoon or good evening to those who are in the East Coast. Um, it's still afternoon here and yeah. it's getting warmer now. Yeah. Uh, so how is everyone's week so far? Uh, ours has been good. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Um, it's, it's, oh yeah, on Sunday, it's been really interesting. What did we do on Saturday? Nothing. What did we do on Saturday? Did we work on our secret project? <laughs> I think so. Oh yeah, that was on a Saturday. That was on a Saturday. You know what? Let's look at our calendar. <laughs> but Sunday, we went to the Lexus GX 550 experience. Yeah. That's actually a video that'll be out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, we actually saw the all new uh lexus gx 550 in different colors and mm -hmm. in different trims so there's actually a third row and there's the uh, two rows which is the overland trail yeah and that is more of their like off-road uh type uh vehicle i mean i guess you could offer the third um row too i guess but the third row has a panoramic sunroof and the uh, overland trail mm -hmm. has a regular moonroof yeah and the good thing i like about the lexus if you compare it with the new forerunner i mean not forerunner oh hello todo hello Hi, todo. um yeah we were just talking about what we did in the weekend um saturday i forgot what we did but sunday uh we went to uh longo lexus and longo toyota uh we saw the all new lexus gx 550 and the different colors and trims that's one of them <laughs> so that's the overland trail right there um it's it's really nice inside its main competitor is the uh land rover defender yeah and maybe the grand grand deer grand grenadier grenadier <laughs> grenadier so th th that's another one that's more the premium side because yeah. look at the wheels yeah um it's like low profile versus the 17s or 18s I think they're 18s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 18s. And they're Toyo tires. What, all terrain? Or are. Yeah, all yeah, terrain. All terrain. So they're not empties or they're not 35s. Mm. They come with 33s, I think. Yeah. Hi, P Bear Bronco. Hi, P Bear Bronco. How are you? Yeah. And um, we also uh, saw this one. And that is the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser first edition yeah we saw it and it already has a tag a sold. It says, it says sold it's already sold guys <laughs> I know. um if you guys here in southern california and you guys are interested in a toyota and lexus uh i, I heard their uh longo toyota and longo tex uh longo texas <laughs> longo lexus <laughs> not texas um does not have any markups yeah and that's what they announced too when yes, we were that, there. And that's what they're known for. So mm -hmm. if you guys are interested on getting a new car, especially that's, a Toyota or Lexus, Lexus, no markups, that is the place. Because um, I've actually looked around in our area and, oh my, the, the markups here are, are horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, some is 2000 some is 3000 some is 10000 And um, it's, it's, it's just, that's just horrible. Yeah. Yeah, so we brought our Bronco there, and um, uh, it was cool. Yeah, we were the only Bronco. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were the only Bronco, and then one Jeep showed up, and the rest were all Land Cruisers, all Lexuses mm -hmm. um, that were parts, and one G-Wagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with portals. I know. It was really, really it tall. It was tall. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, so that's what we did on Sunday. Saturday, forgot what we did. Mm, no, um, we just rest. We just rest. Okay, yes. we just rest. Um, I, oh, and we worked on a secret project. Right? Yeah. And we worked on a secret project. Mm -hmm. Um, it will definitely change the look of the Bronco. The only problem is, uh, we need some supplies, I guess. Yeah. Or, or someone that will make it for us. Or someone that will make it for us. <laughs> but anyways, go. um, yeah. Um, so how is everyone's week so far? Um anything interesting any new modifications any new um installs mm -hmm. uh for any new trails that you guys went to oh yeah any, any new trails or any went trails to a trail 
<laughs> um, we'll probably be going on a trail again soon. Yeah. Uh, we, we just want to, um, uh, what's this? Make sure it's not a week before or a week after a major car show. Because the major car shows are, uh, it's it's a season right now. Yeah. Uh, springtime to summertime and yeah. fall. That's like the the major uh yeah. car shows yeah indoor it, or outdoor yeah and it's been raining here in southern california for the past yes few weekends already it, it rains only saturday and sunday here yeah the two of you are always working on secret projects <laughs> LOL. uh yes yeah. um if we want to be uniquely different in car shows in the off-road category ford category domestic category or best of show yeah we have to like put our minds together and think outside the box yeah be, be creative and innovative and um and hope for the best yeah hopefully it doesn't look funky <laughs> I know. yeah and of course it has to have a purpose too yeah. so um you know we, we can't just like um our most uh this this wasn't a secret project but our most latest install was um these these, oh yeah these lights uh, the, the, these lights right here not not the winch but but these lights right here and um we we took it out on two trails and they were both raining and it was snowing mm -hmm. and thank god that um she did the electric wiring um perfectly yeah <laughs> or else we would have short circuit i know i went trail riding all day on sunday a lot of fun the weather was beautiful oh wow oh, that's, that's awesome that's, that's so cool that's, that's so cool awesome. yeah um yeah it's well, always fun in the trail you know it depends what kind of trail if it's yeah. rock crawling or <laughs> hard rock crawling uh what do we mean by hard rock crawling if you're going to those courses in uh johnson valley at King oh, of yeah. the Hammers, that's a different yeah thing. i don't think our bronco <laughs> will look like this yeah I and, and, and i honestly think we need portals for, <laughs> for those courses there yeah because the rocks there are just massive and, uh yeah i know yeah and uh what else um uh, and i no nah, i don't know if i should announce it no nah, not yet with rock shot because it's <laughs> not official yet um with their um yeah you need to stop yeah it. <laughs> um what else um man what else can we talk about here i know because uh, the thing is over the weekends we don't have a the last few weekends we don't have a lot yeah and it's been raining I, here yeah, and it's, there so it's back to back and, um <laughs> it's not competing it'll, it'll be on a trail yeah Go, going on a trail while raining or snowing is really kind of challenging yeah yeah, because you want to go straight and then next year you're sliding off to the left or sliding <laughs> no, off to the right. right and it's it's pretty scary too that yeah you don't have control of your bronco yeah. or car yeah yeah and then I'm now you in go in and oh no i i um i might get in trouble or, <laughs> yeah um maybe next week yeah i'm, I'm waiting for their website too because it was weird last night i couldn't sleep and then i went in their website and crap it was showing and then now today i went on their website now it's gone so i don't know if that was like a whatever like a trial and error yeah maybe they made a mistake like oh crap we accidentally announced it <laughs> um but it, it, it does have something to do with the bronco yeah and, um, um new, new product <laughs> for the bronco yeah, so yeah what we can't talk about though is the product that we have with them right now uh we have the front uh rock chop anti sway bar disconnect mm -hmm. so for those people who we won't tell anyone uh, uh, yeah, yeah but if they watch this i, I am so screwed <laughs> yeah or don't tag them. <laughs> yeah or anyways they don't watch this but we'll, we'll probably talk about it next week for yeah. sure because i'm gonna go back to their website every day now so we we have more information too as well <laughs> yeah and we're thinking if we should get it or not but it, yeah. it is kind of pricey though yeah yeah but um our so for those of you who does not have a sway bar disconnect um carly is that how you say it carly so. carly suspension and rock jock and now i heard now um apexy apex. apex oh sorry apexy is the jdm uh -huh. um apex is now having a uh apex. Yeah. sway bar disconnect lol mm -hmm. yes i know yeah mm -hmm. 
So yeah, if, if you guys do not have a sway bar disconnect, um, those There's, are awesome. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing we love about the Rock Chalk is um, it, it's full-time disconnect. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and, and, I, and I make sharp turns in the freeway like and um not really fast but just sharp enough and um can you feel the body roll yeah just a little bit just a little bit mm -hmm. okay so but there, the, there's that. the thing oh. with us um i don't know if you will really feel it when you have the oem seats because oh. we have it we have it with the with our current like and and our seats really hug you like yeah. really really hug you so so you feel the motion mm -hmm. so if you have your regular bronco seats it'll just be like oh whatever mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so for those of you who do not have a sway bar disconnect mm -hmm. um those are great options and they're really easy to install yeah um, i don't know about the others yeah but the rock chop only took us what four hours? Yeah, four hours. About over four hours, mm -hmm. give or take. Yeah. Yeah. But that's us not knowing our, you know, we're not we're not experts. We're not mechanics. <laughs> we just yeah. go with the flow. We're not even amateurs. Yeah. Like when we filmed it, I don't even know like what the proper tool to say. Exactly. I just said this, we're gonna use this, and then we're gonna use that. And then we're gonna like go like that. Yeah. And then four hours later, and we took it to a bunch of trails through. Yeah. Will this uh, sway bar disconnect work going over protesters blocking the road? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it does in boulders. So um, most likely. Most likely. Yeah, just, just be careful. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it, it works good in boulders. Yeah. Um, if it's not people. Um, and... Um, what boulders have we gone up? Oh, laughing. Oh, okay. Uh, what is the highest boulder that, like, we didn't flex but went over? Uh, we did a lot. We did a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but we did a lot of off camber stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually, um, when we went to Johnson Valley uh, in Florida, we just dragged them off the road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys have a cool governor. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Ours, I, I have no comment. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, in Johnson Valley, when we went really fast, I, those are or one of my concerns uh, was the tie rod mm -hmm. and the rock jump. Yeah. And the upper control arms, those three. Mm -hmm. But, hey, um, you, you get what you pay for, and they're really quality. Mm -hmm. um, and when it was our first time testing it, yeah so um it did amazing yeah yeah um it's still in one piece um our only problem was our toolbox kept on uh <laughs> no i think we uh, need to secure our toolbox though yeah i think we yeah. need to yeah um, we just put it there and every time we go on whoops or we go on like weird um off camber off, yeah. uh areas um, that's the time like it would it would move or it will jump <laughs> yes um so yeah that that was our only uh situation right? yeah we didn't have any like like oh crap moment no no, uh, mm -hmm. no. uh so um so yeah that that's um that was our experience with the with the full-time sway bar disconnect sway bar. yeah yes so um uh, what else can we talk about uh that i had it in my head but i forgot this weekend i don't think we're gonna do anything mm -hmm. but next weekend oh man it's gonna be back to back yeah and um it, it's um it's gonna be early because mm -hmm. we're going to another off-road <laughs> expo oh yeah yeah is that, in corona is that called cool? rodeo x rigs it's like 80 percent is going to be toyotas guys um, but they're awesome builds. Um, they're all fixed up forerunners, all fixed up Tacomas, mm -hmm. all fixed up and classic Land Cruisers. Mm -hmm. um, have I forgotten another? Maybe a nice Rav4, maybe. Um, yeah. Does any of you guys know why Toyotas put Raptor lights? Because I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They always have like those. 
I, I actually <laughs> said that in our uh, Instagram, and a Tacoma guy messaged me. It's going to be 9 degrees here on Friday. Oh, crap, that is hot. Yeah, that yeah. is. Rodeo Riggs. Oh, yeah. Rick. Yes. Hi, Rick. Yeah. What's up? Yes, we, we are going to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, not a booth car, uh, yeah. just a display car now. Display. Mm -hmm. um, we, we paid the 30 bucks, or I forgot how much we paid. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have any intentions of waking up five in the morning <laughs> for that. Um, you know what? If we're going to fall in line for two hours and go there late, then <laughs> so be it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but um, last time we went there and we left at 5.30 in the morning. Oh, my God. We got there at 6 in the morning and it was like um, like a, a, an accident in the 405 freeway <laughs> going to L.A. That's how bad it was. <laughs> We only we waited like about an hour to yeah, yeah for one like half a mile mm -hmm. yeah or or almost a mile long and then we waited for like about an hour uh yeah uh, yeah and then we even saw the sunrise and everything <laughs> it was dark and then the sunrise we saw the sunrise uh -huh. way too early yeah I, I know yeah yeah so sweet. this one is going to be Corona last time it was in the King Suspension headquarters. Mm -hmm. Um, and the Raceline Wheels headquarters, too. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know they were, like, in one, like, Location. compound. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Kings is here, and then Raceline um, Wheels were, like, right next door to each other. I'm not sure if they owned each other or not. Mm -hmm. But now it's going to be in Corona, and um, it's it's going to be amazing to see uh, all the Toyota, all the builds. Roll-in times for this one is at 5.30 a.m., so even earlier. Oh, heck no. Oh, no. Oh, wow. 5.30. All I'm saying is I'm just happy we are not a vendor. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Man, that's way early. I know it starts at 8, so. That's still early, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. But I guess, you know, if you're like an overlander, off-roader. You just sleep there. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. they're, they're really early birds. I know. <laughs> Yeah, um, it used to be early birds. <laughs> yes, sucks for me. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. Um, you are, um, Rick is a uh, vendor for uh, TFTI off roads, um, and they sell off road parts mm -hmm. too. So, you know, if you guys need cool wheels, um, maybe Rick, you could put your website or your IG or something. Yeah. Um, I watched the sunrise on the beach. The past saturday wow that's really early yeah it was you guys go see the sunset oh yeah sunsets are nice yeah, yes yes sunsets yes. are nice yeah sunrise are, sunrise is nice too but it's way too early yeah. for us. way yeah. too early yeah. yeah we used to be um what's that early morning person yeah i used to wake up five in the morning be, just uh, nothing be, right yeah be, before uh 2020 incident happened <laughs> yeah 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 but, same uh, here too like before like because work before you you always have to be there by eight so you have to wake up really early by like yeah. 6 30 or something but with Thank everything happened, oh yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah so um things change <laughs> yeah things change we're not super early birds no more um what else um we have another project coming mm -hmm. um i think that's halfway done already and um we'll show it to you guys um asap when it comes out mm -hmm. yeah but as of now as of right now they're still making it yeah so um we have a lot of projects coming up we actually have like three or four major projects um that we're waiting on and it might change the look of the bronco hopefully in a good way mm -hmm. it will be in a good way for sure so um can't wait for that mm -hmm. and uh what else is another is an, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, it is. It's it's another thing. Um, th that one is actually in the process right now. We're in the waiting period. Mm -hmm. You who, yes, can't wait. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, same here. Can't wait, can't wait too. Yeah. Um, it's already been uh, a month already. No, February. February? Um, March? It was so Gearheads. Almost, oh, yeah. Huh? Um, so about a month and a half. Yeah. It's been a month and a half. So that's I only, don't even remember what the heck it is. So that's only uh four weeks. Uh, so we've been I'm waiting just, about five weeks. I'm just agreeing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Um yeah, it, it's uh interior piece. Oh yeah, okay, okay. In, interior piece. A lot uh I almost said it. It's an interior piece that will 
I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you cannot keep secrets. <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time. Has any of you guys removed the rear seats? Wait, oh, Mr. Sickwit. Which is your favorite trail in Southern California? Mm. Calico. Calico is really nice. It's the only problem with Calico is it's further than Johnson. No, it's actually about the same. Yeah. It's a far trail. Um, it is halfway to Las Vegas already. Um, you'll even see it too in the sign. It mm -hmm. says Las Vegas, like a hundred more miles or so. <laughs> um, the thing I love about Calico is um, it's definitely not easy trail mm -hmm. and it's not a super hard trail yeah yeah it's, it's Farsi amazing. log meet and greet this saturday west covina i'll send oh wow okay, okay cool, cool. We'll, we'll do our best yeah because this saturday um we are not going to any events mm -hmm. but we are going to work on the bronco again for another secret project yeah yep that's us we're always like 10 steps ahead <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so so yeah um Calico is our best yeah. um, favorite trail. Favorite, yeah. Like, what else? What else? Um, Creek or Johnson Bronco. Valley Bronco Knoll is another favorite mm -hmm. of ours. Um, if you go the hard route, which is a like a solid level six trail, um, that's, that's also challenging. Yeah, mm -hmm. challenging and scary too. Mm -hmm. um, Calico is more like a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us, for us, um, if you have if you have a, a jeep with four. It's probably like a level six for you or level or, five or less. <laughs> or less. But if you got 37s like us in independent, for, without any uh, portals, mm -hmm. then it's more of a level seven. Uh, the good news is um, we have all our lockers and that trail, we use all of them. Mm -hmm. I, I tried not using the front locker. Yeah. And um, I had no choice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, and, and it's mostly rocks. It's, yeah. it's like the Moab of California. Yeah, that's the scenery really... there is all red, guys. Yeah. <laughs> or purple, purplish red. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, so that's how so that more... that's nice. Yeah. So I actually kind of miss going back to mm -hmm. Calico. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um and we also want to go back to uh Gold Mountain. Yeah. That that's a nice well it, it's a Jeep. Uh, what's that rated cheap rated, rated uh, black diamond um, trail meaning yeah. that if you do that you get a badge mm -hmm. if, if you sign up for the Jeep thing yeah yeah um, so yeah that's one of of, of the few um, few um, trails that we like yes I will check it out Lilo Creek was nice with this oh yes yes um man um, Lionel Creek is actually a nice moderate trail, but it, once you go to the cold water uh, yeah, canyon, cold water. oh man, we didn't even want to do that in snow. Um, it, it was already difficult um, without any snow. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what, a rated five, I think, mm -hmm. um, or six? Yeah. Uh, the cold water one, the cold water one. Mm -hmm. So instead, we just tried the chutes. Yeah, and, outside the, the creek area. Yeah, 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 outside the creek area. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a, a lot of people from so. Cleghorn um, has a lot of cool shoots, but they do have a level seven shoot there where, man, it took out a lot of forerunners and a lot of Jeeps. When I mean mm -hmm. took out, um, they all like rolled, yeah, rolled, rolled over. over. Yeah. And they had to, to, to ask someone to, you know, rescue them. and yeah, Get them, uh, winch them out, winch mm -hmm. them out. So, um, so there's that. Mm -hmm. Pilot Rock is nice too. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, um, uh, Clankhorn is a cool trail too if um you're not doing the level seven. Trail. Yeah, you're not doing the shoot. Because because yeah. because that the shoots, they call it the shoot mm -hmm. because it because it is the shoot. Mm -hmm. Um they have other shoots there too. That's a good level five. You know, it'll test out your flex, it'll mm -hmm. test out your thing. I'm scared of that one. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh we went to that one. It's really? actually on our one of our very first video trails. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um it's actually one of our popular ones too. Yeah. We get a lot of comments like, oh my gosh, you went there by yourself. You guys don't go there by yourself. You know, we had to rescue someone there if you guys are there by yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. We got a lot of like like weird comments. <laughs> like yes. not so appealing comments. Yes. We got a lot of negative constructive criticism, negativity. There you go. We but we were like, ah, it's okay. It's done. We we 
We got out. <laughs> in one piece. No one rolled over. I got lucky last Thursday. A big tornado. Tornado? Oh, In wow. Florida? Oh, shoot. Touchdown. 10 minutes, my house. 10 miles. Oh, 10 miles. Not 10 minutes. 10 miles. Uh, Real bad thunderstorm. So we got hurt. Oh, wow. That's, oh, that, wow. that's awesome that no one got hurt. But wow, there's wow. tornadoes in Florida? I, I thought it was just hurricanes. Hurricanes, yeah. Yeah, wow. and, and and crocodiles and alligators. <laughs> yeah. But wow, really? Uh, tornadoes? Wow. Because normally tornadoes um, is in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but wow, that's crazy. Wow. Well, thank God now, no one got hurt. Yeah. yeah. Now that's scary. And yeah, yeah. That's I've never I've never experienced tornadoes. So yeah. Um, uh, for us, it's earthquakes. Um, yeah. We're used to earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, she's from the Philippines too. So, so I'm used with the typhoon yeah, or hurricanes. Yeah. Wait, you guys have earthquakes too? We get all. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah um, we don't get hurricanes here because the ocean here is too cold for mm -hmm. it. And um, in her in the Philippines, they got volcanoes. Yeah. Yeah, that one's really scary. Mm -hmm. So, they But they've been dormant also. though, right? No, there's no, still, they're still active. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we do have volcanoes here too in California, but it's been dormant for like millions of years. Yeah. But hey, you never know, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's actually an underground volcano here in Orange County. I checked, <laughs> but it's been dormant for like millions of years. <laughs> but man, if that thing decides to wake up, <laughs> woo, it's going to be crazy. We even felt an earthquake a month ago in Central Florida. Wow. Oh, wow. Really? You guys are getting it all. <laughs> wow. That turned tornadoes hurricane wow. earthquakes alligators damn. alligators crocodiles crocodiles <laughs> sharks wow yeah, that's that's crazy wow um what else so yeah um what else can we talk about here guys um i don't know is, is there anything else you guys uh, yeah. um, want to talk about like uh, off-road related or mm. heck anything related yeah, um, it, it's just um, can't wait for our secret projects to come so we could touch more base with it. Yeah, and share it with and, you guys. Yeah, and, and see why um, we, we, we have to call it a secret project because we have a lot of competitors in the car show now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it's not just trucks. Um, so the thing with the car show uh, industry, um, Yes, we are labeled in the truck category, but um, our, like I guess the way we did our builds is just crazy. Yeah, that we're in like in a bunch of categories now. Yeah, and but... and and we don't go up against just another truck or off road. We we go up against like JDMs, muscle cars. Um, uh, I, I don't, yeah, you, you name it. Yeah, yeah. Euro cars. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's why we have to call it a secret project until it's finally there. revealed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if there. if they want a copy, it'll, it'll be too late yeah. for them, and they have to. Don't forget, we have wild. Wait, what? Wild panthers, bobcats, and whoa! Oh, uh, you guys have those? <laughs> that sounds like the, you live in the Amazon. <laughs> We're in Florida, in the Amazon. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Wow. Wow. I mean, we we have like rattlesnakes here, but it's it's. Towards you know, the, the, the it's in the trails, the trails and and uh, cougars. Yeah, actually, we have two cougars here, uh, one in Newport Beach and <laughs> one in the mountains. <laughs> that's like a different. Cougar. Oh yeah, that, 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 that's a different cougar. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we have those. Yeah, here we also have coyotes here. Yeah, we have coyotes here, in but the streets sometimes the, it it looks like a dog without a leash. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how coyotes look like. Because when we when we walk or when I walk Rambo at the park, um, we sometimes see a coyote at night, and it, it looks like, like from far away, like the owner is like not there and is just a dog uh, by himself. So, yeah, we um, have a lot of squirrels. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of squirrels here. Um, our gas is the highest gas in the United States. Is that considered uh, uh, exotic? Exotic animal. Yeah. You, you got to be baller status to fill up your uh, um, your, your gas. gas here. So uh, what else? Um, what else can we think of? What else? 
Um, mm. Yes, and um, why, why are we mentioning Toyota and Lexus a lot? Um, it's because um, our other car is a Toyota. Mm -hmm. our yeah, daily. Toyota. Toyota Corolla. Uh, with 400, over 400,000 mm -hmm. miles, original engine and original transmission. But, um, you know, it's coming to an end already. Yeah. But it's, it's a miracle that lasted that long. <laughs> and that's why, too, um, we're kind of in the market now on looking for another vehicle. Mm -hmm. And um, we're not sure if we are going to... Um, we might make it into another project car. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll see. And what I mean by project car, you know, look like like the Bronx. Try to make yeah. it compete. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but right now we we have uh, no idea. Um, so the pricing on the Land Cruiser without any markups, um, it, it ranges from like fifties to seventies. That's a lot. So the um, Toyota Land Cruiser we saw. Um, or that you guys saw here on uh, YouTube and Instagram, um, I think that was around 70. I, I, I don't know exactly the price because there was no price no more. It was sold already. Yeah, it was sold. To but, but if you go on any website of Toyota and the you check the Land Cruiser, uh, first edition, first mm -hmm. edition with no markups, I think it's like 77,000. So... Um, that car that we saw in Longo Toyota was around seventy-seven thousand ish. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot for a Toyota. Uh -huh. Yes, our Bronco stock was like in the fifties. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's the Sasquatch package, so you know it has um, the front and rear lockers mm -hmm. and the thirty-five inch tires. Um, so the thing with the Land Cruiser for 77k, um, it's a first edition, so you know it's limited. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's like the Bronco uh, first, first edition, edition, which is limited too. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why it is kind of pricey. Yeah. And um, the thing is, um, you know, the problem is your tires. It, it does it's it doesn't even come with 30 is it 33s i don't even think it's 33s i think it's the heck's not even 35s yeah for it's sure not, it's not 35 it's not 35 and I it's, think it's 285 something it's like a low 33s guy mm -hmm. like a 32 31 i don't know and it was michelin wheat tires mm -hmm. michelin tires um so you know if, if you start comparing that um uh for like example like the bronco uh another off-roader um you know you're getting 30 if you're getting the sasquatch you know you're getting 35 inch or almost 35 inch yeah. tires the goodyear mm -hmm. mts you're getting a uh, beadlock capable because mm -hmm. those sasquatch wheels are beadlock capable um you know you're, you're getting the front and rear locker mm -hmm. so the toyota um, land cruiser has a rear locker and a center diff locker mm -hmm. i have no idea what a center diff locker is guys so um, I don't know how uh, capable. I don't know if if that's like uh, um, like a front locker in a way, or yeah. I, I I I don't know. Uh, so yeah, that that's what you're getting for seventy seven uh, k. It's a yeah. limited edition, and if you want to get the base model, I think it starts at fifty ish. Mm -hmm. So um, there's that, and then the new Forerunner is coming out. Uh, that one also has a rear locker. And I think a center diff locker too yeah. as well. I don't, I don't know what a center diff locker is, guys. I, I don't I don't know what the capability of it. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what it does. They so. were explaining it actually about the center diff locker when they were when explaining. We were, it, yeah, when we were at the Lexus experience. Yes. Um, but but it's it's it's, it's not making sense. Yeah, it, when they were talking, it was just like going from like one ear to the other. I was like, huh, huh, huh. I was like, oh, okay. All I all I could uh, think is like, okay, center diff locker. So it means that once you press that, all like, the like, tires will just yeah, lock. And, and then it'll give like a fifty percent uh, uh, yeah, power to each to, uh, something to like the I, front and fifty percent to the back. So we don't know. Yeah. So I I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So the good news with the new Forerunner coming out, um, it's going to um, be in the 40s, I've heard. And also, too, the Lexus GX550, it starts in the mid-60s. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper than mm -hmm. the Land Cruiser. 
uh, to forerunner to the pro might be the one choice than the lc there mm -hmm. yeah a lot of people are saying yeah that. yes yeah a lot of people yes uh, the price yeah. yeah the price and the and, and the looks i mean if you like that looks that's cool mm -hmm. but you know we saw it in person tw uh, uh, twice already mm -hmm. um and it looks kind of like i mean it, it does kind of look like the the gx in a way but m more of a toned down yeah soft look yeah because they still capture the old fj um style from the 50s yeah that's why it's called the 1957 mm -hmm. um uh, retro yeah uh, prado mm -hmm. prado uh land cruiser mm -hmm. and the chassis is the same length as the forerunner mm -hmm. and also the lexus too i think yeah yeah they're all in the, they're all sharing the same chassis guys <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so uh that's that and um what else yeah um so yeah i can't wait to see the new forerunner and um if, if you want the best of your buck if you're gonna spend that much like 77k oh yeah and the land cruiser is a four cylinder mm -hmm. with a hybrid mm -hmm. but the lexus is a v6 twin turbo I, I i would rather go for it if i'm gonna spend 77k i would go for the lexus yeah and i and i love the looks well, well actually we both love the looks mm -hmm. for the uh all new lexus yeah but 77k that's a lot man that's, that's our, our monthly pain oh i, I that's mean we're, 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 we're barely um uh flying by with with our <laughs> monthly know. payment yeah i know uh, so imagine a, a 77k um mm -hmm. uh, monthly pay and that's without markup too i know and the yeah. interest rate i don't know how much interest rate they're going to give us especially right now yeah the, the interest the rate is high right is now just we, the in interest rate is, is just too weird right now yeah maybe, too much yes yeah so um that's another factor too so um so yeah i mean we were thinking too just getting the gr86 for like 30 grand mm -hmm. yeah um you know it's a nice four cylinder stick toyota but uh we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see yeah we'll see there's a lot of options and yes there's actually not a lot of cars that are too appealing right now yeah, yeah yeah i guess i mean the most other I, than I the think, new forerunner i think it's because of the market you know like the the market right now they you know it's too expensive rate is too high you know those kind of things so it's kind of turn you off yes because it's like you want to get a new car but the but interest rate's gonna kill yeah, you. Not unless, like, not unless you have it cash. Yeah. If you're gonna pay it cash, then yeah, that's, then that's, that's all that's good. That's the way to go. Yeah. But then not everyone will have cash on hand. On yeah. hand. And and also too, um, we were thinking of a classic Bronco. Mm -hmm. The classic Bronco prices are going way down now. Yeah. Yeah. The 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 hype is over already. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone's like, um, I remember uh 2021 2022 if you wanted like a 1971 1972 uh classic bronco gen one oh man you're looking at like 120 to 300 thousand. yeah now it's just they're they're dropping, they're now. dropping now uh the um what, what's this um the desire for it mm -hmm. has gone down already what, what do you call that in in uh terms that? no the, the supply hype. The, uh, yeah. the, hype the hype and this yeah yeah the yeah. supply and demand this is there the demand mm -hmm. there you go the demand has gone down now mm -hmm. so you know we, we were thinking of that too but it's a classic car and we we have to make sure that uh maintenance is on point mm -hmm. uh that'll make a great video mm -hmm. and we thought about we actually love to go on classic car shows yeah when we went to the grand national roadster show and the grand national truck show we were the only new vehicle there yeah. everyone else was like uh sema restored actually all their cars were um before sema they, they were there <laughs> after sema they were there <laughs> to get a trophy yeah and price money because there's a price money in um the grand national the, the grand national truck show and the grand national roadster mm -hmm. show so uh, all the SEMA builds were all there, yeah, fully competing. displayed, competing, yeah. <laughs> competing. All, all SEMAs were just like, hey, who's the best? Who's the best? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we were in the outdoor category. Broncos, what? Oh, back action, auctions, oh. auctions. 
on live auctions. Oh. Wow. We need to uh, yeah, check out to. the uh, auction. Yeah. But for sure, we're definitely going to finance because, mm -hmm. um, um, you know, we, we're not ballers like that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that that's our uh, situation right now. And we're also thinking, too, like, how else can we make this uh, channel grow? Um, I mean, because we're like, do you guys have any suggestions, any inputs? Bring a trailer auction. Oh, there you go. Uh, we need to buy a, do we need a trailer though? Because we don't have a trailer. Or that's just the name of the, I think that's just the name of the auction. The auction, place. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, do you guys have any um, suggestions? Because we're already doing car shows. We're already doing trails. trails. We're already doing installs. Um Crap, man, I don't know. What, the only thing we're missing is drifting this Bronco now. <laughs> Go to Formula Drift and uh, that's the name. All right, sweet. Cool, cool. Because we don't have a trailer. <laughs> yeah, that's another expense right there. You know, actually, we, we thought about, like, our plans too before was um, uh, buy a, a, a Raptor, mm -hmm. an F-150 Raptor, not a Bronco Raptor, and then buy a trailer so we could uh, tra trail the Bronco and, and bring it to Moab, bring it to Florida, bring it to Missouri, where Di Dynamics just had their third annual open house, and they can't bring it here because we're too far. And we missed it. And we again. missed it again. Our third time missing it. I, I, I did the GPS. It's going to take 1,200 miles one, one way. way. So I wouldn't even get an oil change first, go there, come back, and then get another oil change. I know. Yeah. And imagine the gas money that we're going to spend. Oh my God. But yeah, we, we thought about getting a, a, a Raptor too and, and buying a trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, you know, we live in an apartment, as you guys could see. <laughs> and uh, we would have to rent out a space for the trailer. And also for the... For and also for the Raptor <laughs> F-150. <laughs> yeah. So, man, the expense... <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what, what else can we do um, in our YouTube channel to yeah. um, uh, suggestions. expand suggestions. Um, uh, we are almost 2,000 subscribers. So. Yes, we are almost 2,000. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but it'll be cool to do something else, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, next year, we're going to do less car shows now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we'll try to travel more. Yeah, we're going to... Go gonna, to trails. Um, one of the first... Uh, states that we're probably going to get or go to is um, Sedona. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that's not a state. Oh, sorry. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, Sedona. There you go. I, I'm so confused right now. Yeah. So um, that would be nice. And the trail that we got our eye on is, um, was that the Devil's uh, Bridge? Bridge Trail. Yes. We're not we're not going with the prong on the bridge. No, no, we're no, no, just no, 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 no. Gonna drive all the way to the end point end where point, you can yes. just. Um, what are you hike. getting for gas miles now? Um, thirteen point two miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thirteen point two. Yeah, that would be nice. Yes, yes. Yeah. See, we we can't do that right now because we're occupied and we already paid our tickets and yeah, this and but that. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so instead of putting that money in car shows, now we'll be putting that money in gas and hotel. Yeah. Yeah. So has anyone removed their rear seats? Because that's what we're planning on doing this weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, we actually tried uh, calling... Um, uh, oh, no, not tried. We actually did call twice. Mm -hmm. Planted Technology. And uh, they're the ones who made the brackets for our chairs. And um, they're having a hard time finding making a bracket for the rear seats mm -hmm. yeah so um ha have you guys removed the rear seat is it easy um is it hard um or i don't know or is it even worth it removing it yeah yeah so rambo could jump in because uh it's our bronco is too high now for for yeah, rambo i know yeah so if we remove those seats it'll be easier now. yeah and yeah. we tried you know getting those ramp. ladder the ramp yeah, the he ramp. didn't want to go on the he ramp didn't want to go. And, and and we could and the ramp couldn't fit yeah because the door wouldn't open the back door wouldn't open. no I, I need my rear seats oh yeah. okay um 17.1 oh my gosh <laughs> um the last time we got 17.1 was 2022 <laughs> 
yes. yeah before we did all the the upgrades <laughs> yes um our uh the one that actually took a big hit on our miles per gallon was our skid plates yeah yeah skid plates mm. um that, that's when it started to like whoa how come it's getting lower now <laughs> yeah but you guys need skid plates that's mm -hmm. like a number one it like if your first mod will be skid plates mm -hmm. yes and then second mod will be uh the icon tie rod mm -hmm. yeah so um uh because we have the icon tie rod and we have 37s with a lift and we've been through a lot of trails now well not that many but uh we've been in a few trails now and um it's been great yeah it's yeah, it did not break while we were going to a mall or mm -hmm. you know costco parking lot or what whatever <laughs> yeah so um you know i highly suggest or um not suggest but recommend uh the icon tie rods and they're cheap too they're not that expensive yeah too um and it's also good too if you're upgrading your shocks mm -hmm. um yeah because um not sure if you guys can see it um so this tie rod here um see how here's the shocks if you guys um have something else here it it might hit your shocks and that that was one of the uh issues um if uh you upgrade your shocks mm -hmm. yeah and then also too guys if you guys upgrade your shocks um now your geometry now would be kind of off mm -hmm. so um before you guys upgrade the shocks we highly suggest just get the tie rods to do you know the weight of your bronco now oh shoot with all the no we have here. not weighed it yet I, I think the only way to weigh this is, is go to like have to a go truck to, stop yeah but are we allowed to go on a truck stop i have no idea yeah and and the only truck stop place i know are in the freeway yeah and there's always like a lot of trucks there too yeah. so i don't want to sit there and wait and then the highway patrol is the one that um mm. that um does the the weighing scale mm. yeah i know in other states you could just go to a uh a weight a truck weighing scale uh maybe we could do that if we're in bars though yeah there's so. a lot of truck weighing scale i i, I want to know too yeah do you have to get a front end alignment after installing the icon tie rods yes 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 and and they're not expensive the alignment yeah. they're, they're not ex you can go to a truck wings yes that's that's what if we're ever in barstow and we see one mm -hmm. we're gonna, we're gonna go, try to stop we're gonna try to stop and be like uh, is it free guys i don't know if it's free yeah i don't yeah. know too yeah i mean, I mean if, it, if we only gotta pay like 10 bucks or 20 bucks that's fine because mm -hmm. i'm curious too to see how much this how weighs. much it weighs yeah, yeah. so um so yeah, that, that, that's our biggest suggestion is um, in our experience is if um, you guys are gonna upgrade, uh, especially suspension and bigger tires. Um, number one, first, just just get uh, your skid plates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if who knows, you, you could go on an easy trail, and then next thing you know, you don't see a, a rock boulder yeah uh, a giant tree a log whatever mm -hmm. and then that thing scrapes your transfer case or goes through your transfer case or your radiator your, your radiator mm -hmm. right here oh man mm -hmm. oh that ooh, yeah 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 and or your gas tank i forgot and the, the gas tank too that's really important too <laughs> yeah. yeah i forgot about that <laughs> so, yeah, yeah so that's like our biggest suggestion is uh just skip yeah plates. protect everything under from gas tank to differentials mm -hmm. uh er everything everything yeah you can go to a landfill to weigh in the bro oh really oh really oh shoot hmm. do okay. we have a landfill somewhere? yeah we do um our landfill is like um i wait i i need to google where our landfill <laughs> is yeah it'll be kind of funky too though us going there but yeah we'll see yeah. definitely thank you so much for uh giving us that yeah. info oh i never knew that yeah okay good to we'll, know good to we'll, know we'll check because I am dying to know I how much know. our Bronco weighs. I'm sure it's, it's oh shit, I'm, I'm sure it's heavy. more than the <laughs> OEM. Uh, uh, yeah, weight. even though we say we reduce a lot of weight because of the carbon fiber. Okay, and... if we reduce, our miles per gallon would be high. 
<laughs> yeah, right now, it, it, I was so happy when we got 13.3 miles a gallon, and then it went back down to 13.2. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, we did do an upgrade. I forgot right. the lug nuts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here, let, let, shoot, I forgot about it. Or here. Um, so, um, these lug nuts is a racing lug nut from um, non. Uh, wait, there's the sticker. Non-stop tuning. Uh, the Formula Drift guys uh, uh, used, used this. So this is what we got right there. Um, um, it, it's, it's just for show. And, uh, you know, it, it's nothing really, you know, it's not going to mm. save you more miles or <laughs> give you extra power or whatever. Yeah. Those look that look awesome. Oh, thank you, oh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah they, they, they are really yeah, they, nice. They are, yeah, especially when the sun hits it. Yeah. Alex moving in storage in Anaheim. Oh, really? Thank you oh. so much. Alex moving in storage. In Anaheim. Anaheim. Okay, that's okay. not that far from here. That's mm -hmm. not that far. Cool. I'm dying to know how much. Um, we'll see if we can go there on the weekend. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alex moving in storage. Mm -hmm. in okay. Cool. We'd be like, yo, can we um borrow your <laughs> wings here real quick? <laughs> yeah, we just need to weigh this real quick. We need to see how much this bad boy hey, weighs. Let me, let me do a a picture. Yeah, so. she's taking a picture of the Alex moving and storage. Yeah. So we don't forget. Yep. Because we're gonna be like, uh, what the heck was that again? I know. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow, it's oh, almost an hour it's already. It's almost an hour oh, already. Is there anything else? Um uh hopefully next week we have something mm -hmm. i'm hoping to share but it's always been it's always been fun you know yes. doing this um live yes. because you guys are interacting and, and you have and as each week goes by our secret projects are I know. getting closer and closer to be made yeah. yeah all right so is there anything else guys before we uh, yeah, go we head out yeah well anyways we'll see you guys again next week next week same time same place yes of course <laughs> yeah now that's it rains again i know yeah. all right is there anything else guys before we say uh uh buenas noches adios <laughs> dulce sueño guys for those in the east coast dulce sueño and um for us here the sun is still up yep all right so is that it guys all or right. should we have a few more seconds <laughs> while they type or yeah is that it uh one, one thousand to one thousand <laughs> you're actually you're actually counting <laughs> yes all right so i guess all that's right. it we'll have a good evening guys good night and, guys um, thank you so much for joining us again this yep. week we'll see you guys again next, next week. week all right all right bye-bye